Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we're on MotoGP 19 once again and we're here once again just looking at a quick mod and the reason why we're doing that again is because I've just been really busy I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for the last few days and that'll probably happen again to be honest it'll probably be another bit of a break but I've got lots of work to do and I should probably be doing it right now I just thought that I need to get something out because it's been five days since I've uploaded now so you know I didn't really want to leave you guys any longer so basically just a mod that I've been working on a little bit today when I've had a little bit of free time and this is basically the end of my free time now uh, so obviously that's not the mod but if you go on to Moto 2 go down see a certain familiar face on the right hand side Mattia Pacini so apparently the database tweak that I made hasn't worked which is a bit of a shame but oh well I changed it so it didn't say number 24 it said number 54 but that hasn't worked and I'm not gonna go and try and figure out why that is We'll just have to ignore it for now, but you can see the picture on the right hand side it looks pretty good. Obviously, it's got his head on there and everything. You see the little icon as well. So, if we go into the custom rider menu, yeah, there's some slight issues with this. Uh, you will see even more issues once we get onto track uh, because the, the file that is loaded when you are using the showroom is different to the file that's loaded when you're on track. Uh, so, as you can see, we've got the DNEZ, yeah, it's quite obvious. We've got the DNEZ model, we've got our, uh, we've still got the Alpine Stars boots though. As you can see they come through the levers a little bit and that's what it looks like in the menu also we've got the ATV helmet so I've done the same work around I did with a binder uh, for the 2020 mod so I know that all works so we're gonna head on to it's gonna be Masana we're gonna do so we're gonna play as Pacini we do just three laps I don't want to do anything too long and you will see once we get to track the other issue with it basically I'll explain it quickly whilst the game is loading the issue is that uh, I can't even get the suit to work on the uh, on track because it's a different file and there's no point explaining it. Well, there there is a bit of a point, but it doesn't really make sense. I don't even really fully understand why. But yeah, you can't do it with the file that loads on track, but you can do it for the one in the showroom and in the garage. So you'll see that there's something wrong when he walks to the garage. In fact, no, it's the track, so you won't. We're moving now to the Moto 2 class grid, where engineers and technicians are ironing out the last few details before the race starts. So I'm going to... Well, soft, soft, three laps. I think I should be able to make a soft, soft last. If I can't, then that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? We'll wait for him to show off, because I haven't seen what he looks like on the grid yet. I've only been ch testing it in time trial. And uh, that's how I figured out that the, uh, the boots and stuff don't work. Uh, Sam Lowe, so we're waiting. So Lowe's quite far down the grid, actually. Uh, we're waiting for Pacini to show up. I have managed to change the names as well. It's not fully working yet, but everything you'll see in this video will look fine. There are other parts of the menu that don't look so fine, but I'll, I'll uh, leave those for now, because I will fix them at some point. But uh, it's worth noting that I haven't made the textures. The textures are from Race Department. I think it was Kalika Chat that made them. I will link them in the description below so you can download them. The textures are for the custom rider, but I just thought I'll see if I can try and replace Corsi with them. And it turns out you can't really. You sort of can. As you can see, uh, you can see the massive problem there, the massive grey bit of the boots. So it's a bit unfortunate, but we've got the AGV helmet. We've got most of the experience. This is this is as good as you're going to get, basically. It's as close as you can get to actually having Pacini in there without having to just sacrifice someone else. So we're going rally outside of lots of riders over to 27th. Up the inside, there was Lowe's on the outside. Then we passed Lowe's. I don't know who we're pushing here. It's what? Oh, it's uh, the Kiefer Racing bike. So we're behind one of the NTSs. Now we're stuck on the back of him. He's stalled and something. It might be Bo. Uh, around the outside. Oh, Remy Gartner. It's not Remy Gartner. It's Nakashima. But between them, there's Manzi around the outside. Coming up towards the infamous section with Manzi, actually. Manzi for 90, but we've got a good exit. Oh, th oh no, that's Ben Schneider that says there. So we went behind Ben Schneider before. I think I've got a livery on for the speed up as well. We're trying to go around the outside of Bastianini, but we couldn't get done as Ica Laquo. No, we're going to get past Ica. Yes, we passed him. Passed Bastianini, cut in between him. Oh, it's going to be inside of Digi Antonio. The inside of him. We're going on the inside of Yehe as well. That was a bit cheeky. Yes, was a bit cheeky. Uh, Locatelli up for 10th. Pretty good position for him. Let's see if we can get past our former teammate there. Past Locatelli we go up into 10th place. Binder next. Had to lift out of that one a little bit through the Curvone section. Through turn 12. On oh, the inside of Binder we go. Almost off the front there. I've run a bit wide. Is he going to be able to cut back? No, he can't. So up into 9th place now. I think Binder just saw set up by. I think he might have got set up a bit by uh, Locatelli. But we're behind Marcel Schrotten out. It's been a pretty good first lap, I must say. Through turn 15. Closing up to the back, off Schrotter, like I said, on the inside, to the last corner, it's going to be a bit risky, but we got it done. 
Oh, almost high side now the last corner. Lovely to make the place. Pretty fantastic first up. You can see the rear tyre is absolutely gone already. Look, it's about half gone. We are behind Remy Garden. Also, we already passed his teammate Nagashima earlier on. Oh, the over and under. Oh, we've properly sat Remy up there. I always seem to sit up the AI just because I go for sort of late moves. And they sort of overcompensate a little bit. We're now behind Augusto Fernandez. And we've run a little bit wide. You can see Navarro's third place there. Just you can see, obviously, the yellow distance. I think it's Luthi in second. But we shouldn't be looking that far ahead. We've got to pass Augusto Fernandez first. Got a good run on him, though. Very simple manoeuvre to the left-hand side. He's going to try and hold it, though. He's got a bit more pace to me, it seems. Past him we go. Oh, we're close up on Marini. On the inside of Marini, our VR46 friend there. Obviously, Pacini trains with the VR46 guys. Well, sometimes, anyway. But we're in sixth place now. Up the inside of Marini, we're going. And there's Alex. Alex oh, almost hitting Alex Marquez there. Oh, I think Marini's just gone straight on on the left-hand side there. We've got a much better run than Alex Marquez. To the outside, past Marquez we go. So over to fourth place. A win is on the cards here. We've got another lap to go. We've got three riders to do. Well, to do, to pass. Sorry, should I say. To do overtakes. Marquez has fell off. So a bit like uh, Silverstone in real life. He's fallen off there. We're closing up to that. N nice looking speed up, it must said. Again, made by Jack. On the inside we go on Navarro. Up into third place there. Yes, we're up into third. Oh, a bit of contact. But it's just Luti and Baldessari between us and that victory. Uh, Moto 2 could really do with a bit of a patch to uh, fix the skills, really. Uh, Marquez should be the one that's way up ahead. Baldessari should be a bit further back. Same with Luti. We're up into third place now. Just going to turn one. The rear tyre and the front tyre are really going off, so it should be a bit harder for us. Behind Luti. Trying to get a good run on him. The inside we go into Rio. Luti round the outside, but we've got the inside. Power underneath him on this triumph. Oh, he's coming back up the inside, but we've managed to cut him off a bit there. So now it's just us versus Baldessari for the win here in San Marino. Obviously, Baldessari won this race back in 2016, I believe it was. And it might have been from Pacini then, although I can't really remember. We're having a look up the inside. That's a bit ambitious. Oh, we've absolutely rammed him. We're going to let him back through. Go on then, Baldessari, go. Thought Luti was going to get us then, but not quite. You see, the pack is so close still. We are closed up all the way on Baldessari. Around the outside, we're going through Tremonto. It's not going to quite get done there. A bit optimistic, but sliding the rear end there. Squirming it. You can see Baldessari squirming as well. Oh, as we're going towards the corner where Alex Marquez fell off last time. We're running out of opportunities to overtake it. Had to lift a bit. I think Baldessari kept it flat through there. He didn't gain, he didn't gain much from doing that, though. Have a look on the inside. Turn 12 with him again. We're going to have to lay him at the position. We're running out of time to overtake him now because of all these mistakes we're making. Hopefully Luti doesn't get the inside. Luti did get the inside there. It's going to be a last corner do or dive here. I think I'm not going to be able to do it from this far back. Yeah, but baldessari has got it. Ah, oh, such a shame. Such a shame. We could have got him if we didn't go into the side of him. But second place will do. I'm sure Pacini would be happy with that well, from the back of the grid. Let's check out the final ranking of the Moto2 race. It's not even close in terms of fastest lap there. We absolutely dominated that one. So you can enjoy just a, a quick little race there. And I know my commentary was probably a bit scrappy. Riding also scrappy. I hadn't played the game for about four days. So to get second, I'll take that. I'll take that. In Moto2 as well, where it's not my strongest category. I've just jumped on the bike, tried to get used to it as quickly as I can on the first lap. So I was quite satisfied with that one, but we were so close to being Powder Sorry, just to say a shame that we slid into him a couple of times. I wasn't going to take the place in a dirty way. I wasn't, didn't want to do that. So a bit unfortunate there, but that's how, that's how sometimes how it happens. But like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Sorry once again for not uploading for a few days, and it'll probably be a couple more days as well. But hopefully I can try and start getting back on track a little bit once I've got some more work done. But uh, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I shall see you in the next video.